Hey, welcome to Rapix Media. My name is Rohit Kumar and today we are making some low poly rocks like this. If you think it looks cool, show me some love and hit that subscribe button cuz this channel is all about creating beautiful art. So let's begin. Open Blender and select light and the camera and delete it. Now select the cube and increase the size by pressing S key. Now go into edit mode and select all the vertices then press control B and bevel the cube a little bit. Now go out of edit mode and now we'll apply a subdivision surface modifier to it. For that go to modifiers panel and add modifier subdivision surface. Now I'll increase the subdivisions to 4 and apply. If I go to edit mode now you can see that we have more resolutions to work with. I'll come out of edit mode and apply another modifier to it. So add modifier displace. So displace modifier actually takes a texture as input and moves the individual vertices of the mesh based on the color of the texture. So let's make a new texture by clicking on this button and rename the texture to stone texture. Now go to texture panel and you can see the name of the texture that we have just created. Now change the type of the texture to Voronoi and you can see that our mesh has changed a little bit. It is now displaced based upon this texture here. But it doesn't look like a stone yet. So let's change some parameters. First of all change distance metric to distance squared. This gives a slightly better result than others. Now increase the size till it looks something like a rock. So the final step. To make the rock little bit flatter, reduce the contrast of the texture. And when you're happy with the result, you can hit apply. Now I think it looks like a rock. But if you go to edit mode, you can see it has a decent amount of vertices. So in order to reduce them, we have to use another modifier. So add modifier, decimate. This modifier reduces the vertices of a mesh. So now we'll reduce the ratio and you can see that vertices are automatically reducing. In my opinion if you use decimate modifier in multiple steps it works much better. So I'll again add a decimate modifier to the mesh and reduce the ratio a little bit and hit apply. Now if I go to edit mode you can see that there are much less vertices this time. But if you want even less vertices than this you can manually delete them. Just select the vertices and press Ctrl X. So our rock is ready. Now if you want to make a scene like this, just duplicate the rocks and place them next to each other. And I have used two lights in this scene, one directional sunlight and one point light. And I have put some trees in the background and then rendered in EV rendering engine. And after some post processing in Photoshop, it looks like this. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss a video from me. For now, thanks for watching. I am Rohit Kumar, this is Repix Media and you have a good day.